Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for the DNN store. Today I have with me Ian Simpson. He is the technical director and co-founder of Glanton Solutions. Glanton is a well known on the DNN space for their knowledge and expertise with Active Directory integration, and they have a bundle of products around that expertise. Um, actually, Active Directory bundle has the Evoke preferred seal of approval already. So welcome, Ian. Yeah, hello, Addison. Morning, morning to you, evening for you. Um, yeah, thanks for the introduction. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you, I don't know if you remember, Ian, but uh, we have a past. Uh, you remember that we, we did some work together a few years ago? I, I just saw that on Skype, actually, and I was looking back at our history. Um, and we're doing some work with XML. There you go. With XML, it was an XML editor in Flash that we started in 2010. Actually, actually, you were one of the two first clients that I had when I started DNN Hero. Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put that down and one day I'll say, I started you off. How's that? <laughs> very good, very good. Anyway, thank you very much for being here, uh, Ian. And uh, let's start with, with some basic stuff here. Where are you located? And talk a little bit about your organization. Okay, so Blanton is a company that I founded with uh, my co-founder, John Royal. So where are we located? We're, we're in the UK, we're here in Australia, we've got um, the Poland um, presence in the US. So we're small, we're purely DNN, we've been in this business for, ten, this is our 10th anniversary actually this year, um, in about three weeks time we'll be exactly 10 years old and that's running as a, a formal company. We actually started DNN way before that. Um, and we, I mean, we started, we started as most people do. I think you sort of fall into these kinds of things. Uh, John and I were working in a very large multinational and we put in an internet site that was so successful that that became our core business, basically. And uh, <clears throat> because there was an internet site, uh, lots of integration with the enterprise tool sets such as Google Search, Active Directory, compliance with brand standards, and that really became our core set of expertise and, and remains so today. So today our focus is still very much on, um, on intranets, on communities, on security, on collaboration, um, but of course we do the whole suite of work around enterprise DNN. Got it. So uh, let, let me ask you that. I mean, you from Australia and John from the UK. How did you guys come together to to build this company? Well, John and I actually started work together um, in this uh, big company, specializing in virtual work. And actually, how do you get people across distance working together? And so, how do we work together? Just as you and I are doing right now. You know, we use Skype. Uh, we live in the cloud. Uh, we actually have no hard offices, we work remotely or in, in client sites, and we truly walk the talk in terms of the cloud vision. We run our entire business on salesforce.com. Salesforce did a case study on us seven years ago about how we run a virtual business, and um, I like to think we did fairly well. I mean, I also, also think work is, um, your performance at work is not measured by your attendance about what you do. So actually being physically in a place doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be better at it. Very true, very true. And so you're saying that you you started with DNN before you guys actually found the company. So how did you personally get in touch for the first time with DNN? Uh, the project we were involved in was using a very clunky XML based very expensive, very low quality uh, internet site solution that, and we just hunted around and found this great .NET open source platform that was, you know, the latest, greatest thing built off the back of iBuySpy and um, running on ASP.NET, this new technology that you can do amazing things for. And I think we, we, we probably got started version 2.0, I think was our first actual install. I might have looked at the version 1. Um, and just dropped it in and gave it a go and it all just worked worked beautifully and uh, you know we remained committed ever since. Got it, got it. Okay, so so you said that uh, you guys 
focused quite a lot on DNN. So is it still your the core of your business? I mean, is, is that the core of your business? And if it's not, what is the core of your business? What is the core of Glanton? I would say the majority of our business uh, from a technology stack remains DNN. Um, but we do do a bit of other work around that. We do a fair bit of consulting, a um, bit of strategy work sometimes for uh, enterprises. Um, so the core of our business is implementing enterprise DNN. So from full life cycle, right from uh, planning and inception, visaging strategy, through to actually implementing, um, understanding that the enterprise world is a very different animal to the SM, SME, the small business, medium business world. Lots of compliance, lots of governance, lots of controls, you know, ISIL processes, things like that. So that's the space that we work in. Um, you know, adherence to standards, brand standards, security, uh, putting those in, and then very much ongoing support. So providing training, providing um, technical support, and, and assistance. So we, we run a program, uh, when you engage with us, you engage in one of three ways. You either engage with us as a project, and a project is something that usually needs to be scoped, has risk, things that have to be defined, um, and we will go and deliver what was agreed. Uh, usually once a project's run and you've got a site running or something like that, or if we take over an existing a site, we do quite a bit of that uh, these days as well, uh, we will then enter a support agreement with you, and a support agreement really covers uh, the response times that we will give back to you. We run our support through um, salesforce.com, we use the disk and the um, service management features through that, so we have a full degree of our, full view of our customers at all times. Um, and on top of that we layer assistance blocks. Understanding that as integrators, we're not putting in our product, we're putting in DNN, usually on somebody else's servers with third-party modules, and there are so many dependencies. I guess our job is really the, the broker, as it were, as so many of us integrators are, bringing all the pieces together, and we act as the first-line support for all of the bits. So when a support request comes in, we'll triage it and work out if we can't fix it, who needs to fix it and get it fixed. And we do that a lot with the VOC. Uh, even though Evoke has a support contract, they still will not support the environment that it may be hosted on. They won't, you know, they don't support the third-party modules. They'd be custom designed, so there still needs to be, as we say, you know, one throat, one throat to choke, and that's us. Um, and the other part of it is that, bearing in mind that it's, uh, we're not necessarily will be on the hook when things go wrong. We provide assistance blocks. So that's just a prepaid, you know, five chunks of five days, send us a request, we'll action it within a, a defined service level. So it might be, um, hey, I notice something's not working now, we'll go and deal with that, through to, hey, my content editor's away, can somebody just manage the content, publish some articles for me, manage some skinning, extend the site, and do all those ad hoc kind of things, just so that we always remain by our client side. And that's worked out very well, and that's very popular. So that's our core business. The Active Directory is a very, very important part of our business. And, you know, we, we, we sell the Active Directory modules and support them and are absolutely uh, behind that. And I guess that's where we get a lot of our core business from. Got it. So, and actually, that's a good segue for my next question, because what I tend to see on the DNN marketplace is that usually the guys, the, the, the teams and the, the, the vendors developing modules, developing solutions, uh, selling on the DNN store, they are usually, I'll, I'll call in general, small guys, small, very, very small teams, maybe two or three people. And you guys have a, a bigger organization, although it's still small, but a bit bigger than the the average size of the organizations out there on the DNN on the DNN space. So, and your focus is really more on the enterprise level. So, how, how I mean, I guess that you 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 answer that in a way. How how you justify you know taking the time to do modules that are there for sale? I guess that's in a way you answer that. Yeah, you know, the, our, our approach to the module development is that the Active Directory modules are now so mature, they actually require very little development maintenance. Of course, we're always enhancing on them. We focus very heavily on support. 
um, understanding that you're dealing with dealing with um, enterprise sites. You know, you're dealing with enterprise security. So, um, when we get a support request, we take it very seriously. We will act very quickly on it. And if a client needs an enhancement or something done, we will just we usually will just go on and do it. Usually, enterprises are quite happy to pay, you know, one or two or three days worth of work to add in the feature. So that's there's no roadmap per se in terms of the Active Directory modules because they pretty much are rock solid now. Um, you know, we probably have over a thousand clients around the world. Uh, we have lots of uh, lots and lots of big big brands are using them. Uh, we have a significant contract with a very large US government agency that's uh, very security conscious and it's going across over a thousand DNN sites that are internet facing and um, uh, secured by our Active Directory modules. So that's that's kind of an interesting one. The, the validation that we will get out of that and I'll be able to talk about more about that in a few months time. Um, but out of that, you know, we're going through full vulnerability testing. We committed to fix anything we do find, if any. So you will see AD Pro V3 coming out in the next the next three months, which are really a, a rewrite around uh, a few more security improvements, bringing it up to modern standards in terms of some of the cl uh, client side frameworks, deprecating some of the terror controls, things like that. Just bring it up to really modern, modern standards. But as a as a code base, it's absolutely rock solid. Got it. Okay. Okay. That explains a lot. Uh, I also noticed that you guys are a DNN Silver partner. What, what does that mean? I mean, what that? Uh, what is that? I mean, explain that a little bit to to the audience, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, so being a DNN partner, uh, we work very closely with DNN Corp. Uh, we support them extensively in their, a lot of their pre-sales activities. So if they're talking to enterprises, we will quite often get involved and help them advise as to, help them advise their potential prospects as to how they could possibly implement something. Um, so we also have access to a lot of their resources internally. Uh, I was out in San Francisco last year at the Partner Summit, which was great to meet a lot of the other great partners. We've got a great ecosystem really, really good ecosystem out there of commercial partners and community members as well. So so what does it mean for us? I mean, obviously, we work very closely with DNN Corp. Uh, they trust us and, and um, we're accredited by them. They will send clients to us. We send clients to them. And there's just a lot of knowledge sharing and, and good channels of communication that are kept open all the time. Got it, got it. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about about specifics about the products and services around you know going to first of all is that uh, a lot of people are not familiarized with uh, active directory because and again when we think about dnn there are a lot of small guys out there that don't have that type of requirement but so again when you start seeing active directory it really jumps out that hey this this is a mid to to uh larger corporation so can you just talk a little bit about what Active Directory is? Sure. So Active Directory is Microsoft's version of, of the lightweight directory app, uh, application protocol, LDAP. So for non-techies out there, it's a directory and a database of your users and security permissions. And it's a central record of people and what they can and can't do and their authentication and their credentials. So most people who work in a company, they know Active Directory by, it's, it's what you use to log into your network with. So it's that single single identity um, that you really want to keep managed, you want to manage centrally. And it's important because the days of uh, logging onto your PC with one password and then trying to access other internal internet websites with a different username and password, you know, what if you leave, someone has to go around and turn off all those different accounts. So Active Directory and integrating with Active Directory means that your DNN site can be bound to your Active Directory credentials and permissions so that when somebody joins the company, they literally can just browse to the website, they can log in, um, provided they have permissions in Active Directory, they will be registered, their roles will sync, they will be given access to the content and the permissions they need. So if they're an editor, they can do that. And more importantly, 
if they leave the company, then they are automatically taken out. So your identity is kept in DNN is kept fully in sync with Active Directory. Um, it's a very, very important thing, and it's becoming more and more so. Um, and I'll talk about some of the newer sort of um, identity platforms a bit later, and some of the stuff we're doing there. We 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 will touch base on that. But um, okay, so uh, that that's great. I mean, that's a good overview of Active Directory, what it is. Uh, now, uh, there is also something called uh, identity management, which ties back to Active Directory, isn't it? Uh, what is Active? What is Identity management and how that does that all ties back to Active Directory. Okay, so identity management is really just about managing the life cycle of a user identity in your application. And um, I sent you over just a little picture which might be useful to pop up now. And just run through some of the some of the key points, the key things that you go through when you want to integrate a user with Active Directory. Okay, great. So, the first thing that happens is when a user when a user browses to an asset or a web asset to your DNS site, the first thing we want to do is we want to authenticate that user. In other words, um, we need to identify them and authenticate them to know that it really is who they say they are. So typically, you'll put in your username and your password. And we'll need to ascertain that that password is actually the correct password. So we run off to Active Directory and hand over those credentials and get a simple yes or no response back. We don't touch the password. It just passes through the system and we get a yes or no back to say, uh, yes, it actually is the user who you say you are. So the first step in this whole process is around authentication. So once we know who you're dealing with, we then work out the, uh, the authorization piece. Is this user actually allowed to come onto the DNN site? And we manage that, or you can control that at a, uh, a role level or a filter level, so we can set very high level control so that not every user who visits or logs into your DNN site within your corporate environment is added as a user. Um, some, some of the other providers out there will automatically register every single user, and then you have to manage by permissions what, what they can see, which means you end up with a bloated user directory. So we do some pre-filtering up front to determine whether the user is even authorized to access your site. If they're authorized to, to get onto your site, we then register the user, which means we take all of their, their uh, uh, username information and profile information and security role information and synchronize it up with DNN. So we create an account, which is obviously your yeah. First name, last name, email address, and username. Your username will be your Active Directory username. We don't store passwords, so we store a hash, a random hash in the password table, password field. Uh, we sync over your entire profile, and we support custom profile properties. So we will, you can actually map in the configuration if you have a territory, for example. I work in the Northeast United States. And you need to know that in your DNN portal because you're running a community. Uh, we can bring in those custom fields. We can bring in images as well. So if, you, if your Active Directory supports thumbnails of your users, we can bring those over into DNN for your profiles. And we sync security roles as well. So we can choose which roles you want to synchronize. And an example of that would be there might be an employee role and there might be a management role. So an employee who first joins will log in. They belong to the employee role in DNN in, in Active Directory. Therefore, we'll add them to um, the employees. If they're promoted and they become part of the management team and become part of the management security group in Active Directory, the next time they log in, they will be added to the management role and possibly taken out of another role. So every time a user uh, logs in, it updates their permissions, and you can control what they see, what they do, and how they, they um, uh, control themselves. Um, and the final stage is if you, if you try and log in, and actually you've been disabled or deleted an Active Directory because you've actually left the company and you probably shouldn't be looking at what you're doing, we will actually deregister you. 
and that can be either soft delete or a hard delete in the DNN database so that you cannot access the web resources. Um, that's, so that, that would happen um, at that point. Um, if you are allowed, so if you are allowed in, so you've been authenticated, authorized, your profiles all synced, we know what your permissions are and your profiles up to date, we will then log you in automatically. And we can do this all seamlessly through auto sign in. So if your internet site is actually sitting on a network server, then you just have to browse to the site. Being on a Windows network, we know who you are. It all just happens in milliseconds and you're seamlessly logged in and authenticated. And that's that's what our AD Pro authentication module does. That's the flagship. That's the flagship module. Okay, so you have explained, you know, you have talked about uh, how the details of how uh, your module connects to to Active Directory and DNN and all of that. But I'm just wondering how complex or easy it is for someone to buy a module like that, install their site, and get up and running and have the the, the connectivity of Active Directory and DNN. So again, do you guys get involved on that? Is that a hands-off approach? How do you go about that? So first of all, it's it's actually insanely easy to set up your to set up a DNN module. Um, and I think we have to try and make everything as easy as possible. So at its simplest, all you need to do is get a connection string. So that's just needing to know what your LDAP path. And we have a couple of examples in our user guides. Uh, we provide a, a, a full diagnostic suite as well. So if you're having problems getting it going we output to a log file all of the tracing that goes on. And that could be immensely valuable if you are trying to troubleshoot an issue. Most of the issues tend to be around the Active Directory configuration, but there's very, really very, very little that needs to be done. Um, of course, there can be a lot of complexity depending on what you're trying to do. So most people don't need help from us. Uh, we have enough in the user guides. The interface is pretty simple. Um, understandably that there are complexities, um, particularly if you're trying to really cut, really control the permissions and do some really fancy stuff. Um, so what we do do, we sell a bundle. So we have a, our entire bundle of Active Directory modules, which is made up of the authentication module, the sync module, um, because sync runs in the background. You can schedule a process which will pull users from Active Directory in bulk. Um, on a nightly basis and keep your DNN directory up to date, whereas the authentication works on login. Um, we have other modules around user directory, so if you want to display lists of employees but not have them as users in DNN, we can display that. We have modules around managing your profile in DNN and updating Active Directory, and we have modules around password resets. And that entire suite will give you effectively an entire self-service model for Active Directory for your employees. We sell that as a bundle if you want all of those modules together. And actually, if you go to the store and look at the complete bundle, we do have an assistance option on there. So I think for an extra $400, we'll come in and we'll actually advise you and say, look, you should do this. Why don't you try these various things? And if you've got problems, we'll solve them. But you don't have to take that. You know, we offer support on everything. We tend to find if people have got problems, it tends to be because they need support in the setup. Once these things are running, nothing much changes. Got it. Uh, one, one curiosity that I, that I have, uh, Ian, is that uh, you're usually, because you're dealing with Active Directory, you're usually dealing with intranets. And because you're dealing with intranets, it, there is usually a security barrier for you as an external resource to come in and troubleshoot things because we do a little bit of support as well. So, I mean, how hard is supporting some of those clients uh, to your organization? I mean, that, it must be a bit hard, isn't it? So, for most most ad hoc support, you know, simple screen sharing sessions will be fine. We'll we'll jump onto GoToMeeting or uh, Skype or something like that and actually work with a technical person and solve it. Um, otherwise, most. Most big enterprises do have the means to open up a VPN access or some sort of remote access to a development environment where we can get in and actually do stuff for them. Got it. Okay. Okay. That, that makes sense. Okay. So to, for me to get ready for this interview, I did a little bit of research on what else is out there in terms of Active Directory integration between DNN, oh, <laughs> of course, Active, 
the integration between Active Directory and DNN. And to be honest, aside from you guys, I was only able to find a small vendor and this open source uh, module that does some sort of integration as well. Why is that there's nobody else uh, competing with you guys? I mean, why are you guys, have you guys cornered the market there and the DNA integration with Active Directory? Um, I think we, I think we have cornered the market. Um, so to answer your question, one, it's, it can be really, really complex and complicated. Uh, secondly, it's not one of the kind of really sexy, fun modules out there. You know, it's just authentication and uh, user identity. People actually don't, people don't even see it most of the time. They don't even know it's there, uh, which is how it should be. The, there is an open source uh, um, authentication provider, which has been around for a very, very long time, uh, very much focused around uh, pure Active Directory, whereas ours are a bit more open in standards around LDAP. And I think one of the reasons that we've become one of the de facto standards, DNN Corp recommend us to their customers. We are um, Evoke preferred now. So we're one of the few module vendors that can actually install our modules on the DNN Cloud offer. Um, so one of the reasons we, we sort of achieved this, I think, is our commitment to support, to fixing issues fast, to enhancing the feature set without overdoing the complexity, and just making sure that these are just rock solid modules. I mean, that's that's what the stuff is about. People don't want, you know, lots of bells, whistles, and frills. They want stuff to just work solidly and keep on working. And then we certainly, yeah, we've cornered that piece. Okay, good, good job. You 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 did well there. Now, let me ask you that. Usually when I'm interviewing uh, you know, uh, a module vendor, I ask if they have any, any clients that they, they, they really like the implementation of their modules. In your case, it's a little bit different because not everybody will be able to see that integration part because it's usually yeah. behind the scenes. But maybe can you highlight some of your clients or some of the names that people would recognize as, hey, they're doing business with that guy in that company. Can you, can you name a few of those? Just to show off. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so some of the, the bigger global brands that we work with, um, uh, BP Global, lots of internet work for them. Weight Watchers Globally, certainly for the internal uh, leader work. Um, the US Department of Defense. We do a lot of work with education and schools and universities. Um, University of New Orleans. Uh, Harvard, um, uh, honestly, there are probably 200 universities and schools that are doing things. Some schools are doing some really amazing things. The Australian College has built an entire um, iPad application and student management system built on DNN with heavy initiation with our components. Uh, lots of healthcare hospitals. Um, health departments, a lot of governments, local governments, uh, councils, um, cities, uh, so Florida. Um... No, no, I mean, you, you did already a great, great job. I mean, you, you dropped a few names there that people definitely recognize, will, have not, will not have a problem recognizing them. That's great, great work there. Let's talk a little bit about the future now, Ian. Um, what new trends you see coming to this space in general and specifically specifically that impacts you guys on, on what you're doing and the type of clientele that you that you address well we believe you know identity is becoming the absolute kingpin it's the central pillar um, of web applications because before we had brochure sites then you had interactive business applications running on the web, but you still had your back office. And now you're starting to see business move through to, uh, to the web. So your actual, they're merging into one. And so identity management is critical. Um, we, we have a philosophy at uh, Glanton, which we call, um, you know, we, we believe in contented customers. And what that means for us is that, or for us, you know, we will, we're never happy until the customer, our customers are happy, but for our customers, 
the con your content management system is where the rubber hits the road. It's where your customers interact with you. It's your sole digital presence. And we believe that you'll have a contented, a contented customer is one with which you can converse, convert, and connect to through your CMS. So converse, be able to have all those conversations either uh, on the site because you're using social or social media or email marketing or offline marketing. Have all those conversations and have them lead back to your site. It's the voice coming out of your CMS. You need to be able to convert those customers, so providing the tools to engage them. And this is really where identity comes in. So it's your, your customer can be your user, could be employees, could be staff, could be vendors, could be anything. And then actually, um, once they're, they're converted from a, a consumer or a user to a, to a customer as such, you actually want to connect them to your applications and connect them to your business. Um, E-commerce, CRM, all of those sorts of things. But before you can do any of that, you have to have identity. Now, Active Directory is purely on-premise and relates to your employees. And there's a big, big trend to open up identity to cloud-based standards. So as we move our websites and our web applications to the cloud, we still need to uh, authenticate them, secure them. And the main protocols around that are SAML, S-A-M-L, and Microsoft's version of that is called ADFS, or Active Directory Federation Services. So SAML is becoming the new standard, and we have a number of modules around that. Something like 70% of enterprises run on the Microsoft stack, and something like 40-50% of them are moving to the cloud. So in the latest versions of Windows Server, there are tools in there to actually migrate or synchronize your Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. And from Azure Active Directory, you can now manage your users' access to any web-based application. And so we're having providers around that protocol. But, but I think the other one that we're very excited about is identity has been pretty much the domain of your employees, your users, right? But what about your customer? You know, what about your single identity of your customer? So if you're a college and you've got a student who comes on board, you want them to log into your DNA Insight, you want them to access a learning management system, and they might want to have to access uh, some video hosting platform or you know, something like that. So this is where federated identity is becoming really, really important, but a lot of the identity models don't necessarily work. Um, so, so the parallel for customer identity is around CRM, customer relationship management systems. So the big two are Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics. And we've done a lot of work around customer identity in those two platforms. So in other words, let your customer come along, manage their identity in DNN, synchronize them off in your CRM system, and track and manage those interactions. And once you have that identity piece established, you can then do any kind of integration. So in Salesforce, you can easily build um, applications, maybe to take a booking or commerce. You can actually expose some of that functionality directly in Salesforce, directly into DNN, because you have that identity. You know who you're dealing with. So that's exciting stuff, and that's where it's all going. Great, great. I mean, very, very interesting trends there. Now, talking about trends and talking about new new things on 2015, we have coming up the end of the month, we have Evoke 8. And I'm assuming that because you guys are a partner, you may have seen some preview of the technology, of the interface. What are you looking uh, most forward to on Evoke 8? I think my view on, on, on to DNN, I think DNN's finally found its feet. I think it's coming back to focusing on its core and its roots, and that's around, around content management. And the things that I've seen around DN Evoke 8, it really is becoming a standout content marketing, content management application. And it's bringing in all of the things that they've done. So, you know, DNN Social didn't quite get the uptake, but Social is a bit of a trend as well. But they're bringing some of the features and functionality from Social directly into content marketing. So you'll see some really, really great stuff about how to engage with your community uh, to market your content around 
uh, some of the messaging around some of the, the challenges and uh, rules-based stuff that can be brought in. The look and feel and the ease of use of Evoke, it really is differentiating itself quite substantially from the platform. And that's why it's called Evoke 8. You know, it's, it's sort of stepping itself ahead slightly of the DNM platform. Um, but I'm also really, really impressed in the moves they've made in terms of platform, in terms of how they're managing this slight shift, how they're engaging with the community more. You know, we now have community contributors to the DNN core platform. They can actually directly go in there and make changes. I think that's really, really positive. And I, I know that there are lots of great plans. 2015 is going to be a great year for platform as well. As you see, their move to MVC to focus on uh, SPV next. I think all of us in the Microsoft space are going to be going to see a lot more interest back in the .NET space. Um, you're going to see a shift towards all the client-side frameworks, so dropping a lot of the legacy form stuff. So it's going to become a modern, fast, responsive, contemporary CMS. I mean, it, and it's it's built on a great foundation. It, all the functions are there. Um, but you're going to see them really stand out now. And I think, too, that we're going to have this conversation in a year's time and say, gosh, what an amazing year that was. Perfect. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that those things are really moving this year because I did a survey a few, a few days ago about the 10 pain points of DNN, and one of the biggest one was really performance, and I think that a lot of that will be addressed when things shift over to MVC and what they're doing next. So, so go ahead. Sorry, so the performance on the performance aspect, uh, performance of .NET actually mirrors that of ASP.NET. And even the uptake of DNN often marries the uptake of ASP. We've been very wedded to that. So with the introduction of ASP vNext, you're going to see performance go up and adoption drive go up as well. Perfect. And, and how does that ties back to what you guys are doing? I mean, a lot of that will impact you, will, that will give you a lot of extra work, or that will make things easier? I mean, short time for you guys. Well, I think we're at a, we're at a perfect junction, actually. So, uh, with the with the with the new DNN, let's call it that. It's a perfect opportunity to focus on all those new standards and bring them in. So we are actually rewriting AD Pro. There'll be an AD Pro V3, which will be super solid. Uh, we're going to write it once. We're going to write it well, and it'll last the next ten years. At the same time, by doing that, we'll be we're able to make our modules contemporary and compliant with modern standards. So, a lot of um, you know, the JavaScript libraries, the interfaces will just be modern, contemporary, responsive, uh, flexible, and performant. And that's what we're using this opportunity for. Very good, very good. Uh, Ian, we are coming to a closure here. I want to first ask, uh, is there anything that you'd like to address that I that we have not mentioned? Any 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 points that uh, you'd like to 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 talk about? So just one of the one of the things that we do think we've done very, very well is our module licensing. Uh, because our core business is around DNA integration, we understand the pain in an enterprise environment when you you work on a site in your development environment, you clone it up to staging, you go through your UAT, you push it up to prod, and then there's a problem and you clone it down. And every time you move servers, you have to get your DNN evoke licensing redone, and you have to hunt through the system for all the other modules and their licensing restrictions. And is it per portal, per server, per DNN instance? Is it enterprise license? Um, a lot of enterprises run behind firewalls, so the module licensing can't talk out. And that's a real, real pain point. So we our module licensing is very simple. We license the DNN instance and as many portals as you want. So when you install an any pro authentication module on there, you can clone that DNN environment up to your staging, to your DR, to your production, to a backup. You don't have to ever touch it again. Uh, we have trial licenses, so you can go to the store, you buy a module for zero dollars, Download the module and you can license the module. Our licensing is built into Salesforce. So uh, we'll issue you a license key. Uh, if you like the trial, you then go and buy the product. Just update the license key. You don't have to reinstall anything. You just change the key and away you go. So we're really trying to make it simple for enterprise integrators 
to manage and maintain the life cycle of our products. Perfect, perfect. Ian, thank you very much for your time and again to to explain, to shed some light into the you know, Active Directory integration of, with DNN and what is coming up next and the challenge that you're going to be seeing in the future and the bright future that we have for DNN here this coming 2015. And again, really appreciate your time. Excellent. Thanks, Addison. And uh, yeah, good luck with your with the desk venture. I think there's a big need for that kind of service out there for uh, you know the, the SMEs. Um, you know, I would like to just say, you know, we, we're also very passionate, very part of the uh, the DNA ecosystem, and you know, we're very approachable. So if anyone out there's got activity problems, just just ask us. We'll always help. Perfect. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.